What's good, everyone? So, real quick, um, I'm taking a little study break uh, from my, uh, well, from um, preparing for my midterms. And I, I just, let me just start by saying I am a diehard, lifelong Niners fan. So, um, I know we're 3-3 three three this year, but hey, I think we're going to make a run. That being said, I live in Fort Worth, Texas. And, of course, I have to hear the nauseating. <laughs> well, I, I ain't going to say all y'all are nauseating, but some of, some of the Dallas Cowboy fans, yeah, nauseating. Anyway, um, so I live here. Uh, I've been here um, basically all my life. And let me just, I'm, I'm, I just want to call out one cowboy player in particular and that's the Marcus Lawrence this guy has if I'm not mistaken the highest contract in Dallas Cowboy history now let's 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 examine this this is the same franchise that had Bullet Bob Hayes Don Meredith Chuck Howie Ed Tuchel Jones um, Hollywood Henderson, Roger Staubach, Tony Dorsett, Herschel Walker, Drew Pearson, um, Troy Aikman, Michael Irvin, Emmitt Smith, Eric Williams, Larry Allen, um, some of these people are the best or were the best at their positions, um, like Larry Allen or Eric Williams. Those dudes were, I mean, is had Eric Williams not gotten hurt, he he would have easily made the Hall of Fame, easily. But I digress. The Marcus Lawrence is making the most out of all. I mean, all the people I name. And I, I get it. I get it. Inflation. Of course, the market goes up. I, I, I totally get it. Um, But the Marcus Lawrence makes the most money out of all of them people. And, and I didn't even mention Charles Haley. I mean, technically, he's a 49er. You know, we just let you guys have him for. Um, I don't know why Eddie DeBarlow gave him up for a box of little Debbies. But, Yeah. And DeMarcus Lawrence ain't nowhere near the talent of Charles Haley. So, But Charles Haley played on this team. And you did not have to worry about Charles Haley not impacting the game. He either got the sack or pressure. But there was... Charles Haley never disappeared from a game. Ever. I can't say the same thing about DeMarcus Lawrence. This guy is terrible. He had one good year, or not, you know, I give him a couple. He had a couple of good years. I think he had a 10 sack year. And one year, I think he got like 17 sacks, 16 and a half, something like that. Okay, he got paid. What has he done since he's gotten paid? I want y'all to comment. What has DeMarcus Lawrence done since he's gotten his check? Because if I'm not mistaken, y'all can correct me if I'm wrong. He played in 16 games last season. He only got five and a half sacks. That's the same amount of sacks as Taco Charlton. How many quarterback purses has he got? What about tackles for losses? Batted passes. What has he done this year? One sack. How many how many quarterback pressures has he gotten this year? What what can any? I mean, and here's the thing: if you comment, I don't want to hear he's been double team. Aaron Donald gets double team. JJ Watt gets double team. Clowney, DeForest Buckner, um, Miles Garrett, Chris Jones. Mm, you name them. Joey Bosa, Nick Bosa, they get double team. 
and they still impact the game. Sacks, look, I'm not just talking about sacks. I'm talking about quarterback pressures, batted balls, like batted passes, tackles for losses, or you're effective in run defense, or you helping out your linebackers, or you send the edge. Can y'all honestly tell me that the Marcus Lawrence has been doing that for the past 22 games? Let this sink in. A guy who hasn't played football in four years has more sacks and more pressures than Demarcus Lawrence. And I'm talking about Alden Smith. Last season, Robert Quinn outplayed Demarcus Lawrence. This is the guy who's, who Jerry Jones is paying $100 million to. That's the guy. But y'all letting him have a pass. Had that, if Dak Prescott gets his contract and doesn't produce, oh y'all all over that. Y'all, mm -mm, y'all, y'all, y'all can't let him make it. But y'all letting Demarcus sorry ass Lawrence make it. He sucks. Bottom line, he hasn't done shit since he gotten paid. I mean, damn Jerry, look if you, I can get out there and do that at age thirty eight. I'm, I'm in Fort Worth, bro. Shit, <laughs> you just call me. Hey, I can give. If that's you, can just pay me five hundred thousand. If you want those fucking numbers, shit, that dude ain't doing shit. All he does is run his mouth. And then he had the audacity to uh, say after last season, talking about, well, uh, uh, talent without guidance, you can't produce or some bullshit. He said or whatever. Hey, bro, Jason Garrett ain't there this year. So what's your excuse now? The, it's still the coaching staff? So the coaches are stopping you from getting more sacks. And the coaches are stopping you from getting quarterback pressures. And the coaches are stopping you uh, from not being a, a, a good uh, run defender. That's, that, that's what you're saying, right? Please. If that's the case... Like I said, I mean, and no one can tell her tell me that Bill O'Brien is such an excellent coach. J.J. Watt's numbers would have been down if, if, if that's the case. Right? Please. This guy is, is terrible. All he does is bump his gums, run his mouth. He's getting paid. He's robbing Jerry Jones. And y'all ain't saying nothing about him. Well, I'm going to say something. Even as a Niner fan, for please, San Francisco, please, if Marcus Lawrence is available and free agent, do not get him. I, I keep him far away from the team. And sh shit, I'd much rather you get fucking Dana Stubblefield out of retirement or some shit. Fuck that. Hell no. Keep that sorry motherfucker away. That dude is terrible. That's all I got to say about that. Uh, again, feel free to, if I'm wrong about some of this video, I'm talking to football fans and Cowboy fans in particular. If I'm wrong about some, please comment. Correct me if I'm wrong. But bottom line is, Demarcus Lawrence hasn't done shit for y'all. Y'all shouldn't call him fucking Tank Lawrence. Y'all should call him Kia Sorrento Lawrence or some shit. All right.